So apparently there's real science behind the Sleepy Girl mocktail. I fully expected this to be a video debunking the viral magnesium lace drink, and yet, here we are. <sighs> Strap on your nightcap, let's make a mocktail. First ingredient is tart cherry juice. You know, there's sometimes natural melatonin in cherry juice, but really it's just here for flavor. We're doing a vibes-based mocktail. Next up, fizzy water. Not for sleep, ah, just for fun. Oh, let's start. <sighs> Finally, the star of the show, magnesium. Now, as a science journalist, it's my job to be skeptical of trendy elixirs and especially of supplements, but there really seems to be something to this whole magnesium thing. Magnesium is an all-around, all-star mineral. It's involved in over 300 enzyme reactions throughout your body, and it's particularly important to muscle relaxation. So while calcium makes your muscles contract, magnesium helps them relax, and that's why people with magnesium deficiency often have tighter muscles or more cramps and spasms. Magnesium is also a big player in your brain. It helps neurons communicate, it prevents overstimulation and it calms the brain by boosting something called gamma amino butyric acid, or GABA. This basically puts the brakes on your brain activity and tells your neurons to chill out. So magnesium relaxes your muscles, calms your brain, and may even reduce pain, so it makes sense that it could help you get more restorative sleep. But do you actually need it? Maybe, but probably not if you're already getting enough magnesium-rich foods like bananas, black beans, leafy greens, salmon. In fact, overconsumption of magnesium can make you feel worse with diarrhea, cramping, and nausea. It's definitely preferred to get your magnesium from food. But when it comes to supplements, it's important to note that not all magnesium is created equal. When we consume it, it's in the form of a salt, magnesium plus something else. Your gut tends to absorb magnesium glycinate better. What we have here is actually magnesium citrate, which is also a laxative and can cause stomach upset, so I'll let you know how I'm doing in a few hours. Also, I feel obligated to tell you that supplements are not well-regulated in the U.S., and you don't always know exactly what's in them, so you should probably use them with caution and consult your doctor first. Thank you, good night. But in general, it should be safe to give the Sleepy Girl mocktail a try. Experts say to take it 30 to 60 minutes before bedtime to give the magnesium time to kick in. It's no miracle treatment, but it may actually help you be a slightly sleepier girl. <clears throat> I love cherry cheese.